can get to sleep I think about the implications of diving in too deep and possibly Hey all you YouTubers out there, slash runescapers, um, today I'll be giving you a farming guide, um, yeah, an updated farming guide, um, with the newest and improved tool belt, etc, etc, and, you know, methods and whatnot. Um, for this you will need a sleigh ring full of charges, a glory with any amount of charges, a witch doctor mask, um, magic sectors, um, you don't really need this, but it's, it increases the yield by shitloads and it does come in handy to increase your profit per hour. Um, and a Falador Shield 4, uh, which can be obtained from the achievement diary of Falador by like, completing it and stuff. In inventory, you will need Mochella Mushroom Spore, which are really cheap at the moment. They, well, I don't know now, but... Oh, well, <laughs> when I bought them, they were like 50 GP each. Um, but they're still pretty cheap, considering you get like... 100k of profit off each one of them, <laughs> so definitely get those, um, but it, it requires like 70 something farming, so yeah, um, I do Vanto seeds, so they are awesome, hang on, my Facebook is blaring me in the ear because it's a butt fart and it's got ads on it, anyways, <laughs> Um, next you will need Juju Farming Potions, uh, with, with two, you will need two of it if you are planting the Herbal Habitat um, seeds, so I'll, I'll come to that later. Um, Ectophil, Ectophile, Tophile, I don't fucking know, um, in every single teleport room, um, and be on normal magics as well. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Okay, so my farm run consists of maximum f efficiency to use you know, one, just one. Um, and basically, you can use a cabbage patch teleport, but since you know you can put in your inventory, but I just really can't be bothered. And you need super compost as well. Alright, so let's get into it. First, you teleport to Trollheim, and I'll show you how to go. Where to go? Uh, teleport, teleport. Um, also, go to this one. Go to the agility shortcuts and stuff. Um, also, you can use a giant ant. Um, what I do is when I log off, I do a farm run with giant ant and stuff, which maximizes yield. And I can get, I've, I think I've gotten, I think 80 herbs in one farm run. That's been my maximum. And that wasn't even at 99. And that was at 90 something, of course. But um, yes, it was, it was rather awesome. <laughs> I must say. Um, yes, uh, the reason I do Vantos is because I pretty much got 99 off Vantos. <laughs> I mean, apart from like a few tree runs here and there. Um, but yeah, the Vantos pretty much got me 99 farming. Um, so yeah, I'll bet just follow this route, by the way, what I'm doing. Um, sometimes the door will be open, and what you do when you're coming down there, just click up there and try and click on the gate, on the troll ladder, before you get down there, so then you just AFK for a bit. Um, and you don't do tall stalls, because yeah, you can get a lot if you do tall stalls, but you'll also lose crap loads. Like, you'll also use, lose the same amount that you, that you could possibly gain if they die, but the chance of them dying is greater than all of them surviving and you know achieving a profit if the if you know usually you can just come out you know, just even meaning that you make no profit no loss like you don't lose anything you don't gain anything just the xp which is kind of pointless because the whole concept of herbs is making money so yes what you want to do when you when you're here the reason i go to trollheim first is because um, it's the longest run to the actual patch, so therefore it saves, you know, this. So, this method, if you went to like, for example, Port, Port Phasmatis, Port Phasmatis, sorry my, my pronunciations of RuneScape are quite, are quite terrible, um, but yeah, that is a really short run, and then you'd end up going here where you're still under the influence of the Juju Potion, 
and then you, it would run out and then you need to use a whole dose just for one patch. Um, so yeah, that's an awesome method. Um, so yeah, you drink one. If you're quick enough, you can do a whole farm run with just one without the cabbage patch teleport. So do that. I'll get your compost ready by the way, and that's done. Do that. Plant the seed. Don't worry about doing any of this. But teleport. Then when you teleport successfully, oh, don't, don't run by the way. When you, because you've got to fill it up, and then you can run and then not fill it up. What you do is drop your bucket, and then clean all your herbs if need be. I think in total I've got like a few hundred k XP just from cleaning herbs, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, just run, 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 run. Oh, you've got to do all this rather quick as well um, before it does run out. Um, just note the your herbs on the tool leprechaun. Once again, get your super compost ready to click on the patch when the herb disappears. It shouldn't take too long. If your inventory does fill up, just clean all the herbs and give it to the tool leprechaun. And always check underneath you because the juju, the juju potion um, does have a chance of you gaining two herbs simultaneously. Um, but if you're at the last herb, one space left, you could get two and then one will be dropped under you, then you, know, you might not see it and then it's goodbye profit. Well, not all of the profit of course, but some, some profit and you want to get the maximum efficiency possible. So. And this is speed based as well. Um, so yeah, this is really simple. If you do this a few times a day, you'll get really good XP. Um, what I used to do, I used to do for, for a little bit anyway, just to get to 99 because I was just so sick of farming every single day for like six times, like farm runs and shit. What I did is, um, oh, yeah, what I did was fell stalk seeds and watermelons. I got like 20k farming XP per um, run, which was awesome, just for herbs, I mean, <laughs> it's awesome, and you just see before that a herb was dropped underneath me, so you've also got to watch out for that. Um, next, next is Ardoin, Ar and yes it is pronounced Ardoin, I just call it Ardugan, I know right, um, oh, what do uh, what you can do as well, you can, um, what's it called, I don't fucking know, it's a new update. You can teleport to the lodestone, that's right, um, in Aradugan. Aradoin. That's <laughs> fuck, fucked up words, I swear. Uh, so you just run as fast as you can. And yes, even at 99 farming, some still die. That's no problem, because, you know, they're Avantos. And the cheaper the... I'll show you the, what I mean when I do why I, why I do Advantos because they're quite amazing herb, little herbs actually. Um, I have farmed a few thousand seeds. That means I've placed over thousands of seeds in these little farm patches, which takes you many many months. <laughs> um, in total, the 99 farming took me. Oh, let's speak at the cape by the way. Um, it took me. Seven plus months. Um, so yeah. Seven plus months of doing this about six times a day for Vantos. <laughs> it's worth it in the end because I made hundreds of mil off it. Um, of course, I've been hacked for most of that, but <laughs> um, the last one, you just want to pick the herbs as usual. See, it's, it's about to wear off. See, we would. If we left the Trollheim teleport to last, then we would have to run, and then it would run out before we actually got to the patch. Lastly, we would need to use the last dose of the Juju Farming Potion. But, we on the last patch, you just clean them here and give them to the Tool Leprechaun. Next, grab our Ring of Slaying, Relica Slayer Caves. And I'll show you why. Not many people do this, actually. Um, we need to have fairy rings unlocked, you go to the fairy ring, and try to guess, comment below right now where you think we're going. Okay, 
schon ein bisschen hart. Ach, oh, Kevin, okay, das good job. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we got 46 herbs out of that. Not awesome, but, you know, it's not terrible either. So, we're off. That doesn't matter because the Juju farming potion doesn't affect more tolerable mushrooms. Because they're too amazing for that. Okay, let me just plant one. Okay, ready? I'll show you. Ready? One seed or spore is 501 GP. Look, you get 85k out of one spore. Isn't that awesome? Or 84k. Yeah, see? Seems fucking. Seems good. Um, yeah, you just note that. And then using your Witch Doctor Mask, you teleport to the herbal habitat. And. I'm doing one of each because I ran out of Yugoon seeds. Yugoon? I don't fucking know. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. And then, see, so yeah, hence why I'm using one of each because I've got more Samadin than Yugoon ratio. So you use the last of your Juju Hunter Potion to collect these two patches. Okay. And the reason why I withdrew six Super Compost at the start was to get to the. Um, you know, all of the patches plus the mushroom patch. But when you get here, make sure you don't forget. Like, oh fuck, I'm running out actually. I used to have like 200 or something. Yeah, withdraw two, otherwise you'll get over there and then you realize, oh wait, I can't actually plant anything because I didn't bring my other super compost because I just withdrew one for that. It has happened to me before and I've had to teleport back there, and get my super compost from there and run all the way back here over this fucking vine which is a pain in the ass to get over sometimes. Uh, you can fail like four times in a row or you will fail. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful for the vib. Um, so yes, you probably will run out of inventory space when you get to here, but just test your luck. Maybe you'll get crap all. Maybe you'll get like a whole inventory of it. If that is the case, as this probably will be, Yep, we just simply teleport teleport to mobilizing armies because it is a quick access banking spot. And then we just easily teleport back. Alright, so what, why I haven't got any back banked is because I um, make them into unfin un unfinished potions, sorry, um, as soon as I get them. So, yeah, that's always handy. Um, yeah. Once you do all this, and once you get like the farm cape, it is really cool because the farm cape is fucking sexy as. I mean, yeah, and it's it's a it's it's a respectable cape as well. Um, even though it is becoming a highly populated cape. Um, but you know, <laughs> oh, people will train skills and people will get capes, so it is there is no stopping how common a cape gets. Of course, night on room crafting will always be rare. <laughs> you know, assuming they don't bot it, of course, um, which is most of them. See, I like the old RuneScape, well not the old, old RuneScape, but like, the day where um, you had to like, craft nature runes to get your party hat, and, pretty, and stuff like that. Damn it! <laughs> like, look, this is like, just ran out. Anyways, um, yeah, you, you see like, 99 rune crafters, with, like, they got it legitly, they trained it for months on end. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, the RuneScape community is going downhill, in my opinion. Not the people, I mean, like, RuneScape in general, it isn't how, how it used to be. There's all gold farmers and bots and everything, it's just, uh, of course you get a sexy emote after. Look at that, it's amazing. Um, but yeah. I might get that one actually. Nature's Might. It's like 8,000. Fuck that. Um, so, yeah, what we do after. What I do every uh, after every farm run is. Um, come on, that's true. Um, yeah, what after every run, just bank everything, clean everything. Clean, clean, clean. 
and then just withdraw 14. 14. Of course you can stockpile them and just make them all at the end. Um, but since my bonus XP weekend is um, upon its arrival, I've decided to stockpile a, a bunch of them. Uh, and yeah, so then I'll just make them all in a few days some, which is awesome. Um, and then yeah, eventually they just stack up heaps. Um, I, an awesome way to get seeds to plant these is um is oh yeah, is cutting the vines through like a fire making method and um, hunter as well. Just simply hunt the jadinkos. And yeah. So that concludes our farming expedition. Um so yeah. Oh I've got oh hang on. Oh no you oh, Alright, so Alright, so here we have the profit, which is awesome. Um, five, five seeds, and oh, we got like forty-ish roughly. Just say forty. Um, yeah, so five seeds equals like roughly about forty-ish or five, forty-five-ish or so. Um, on average, I get about like fifty-seven. Um, so yeah, that's about like 217, well, 203, no, I don't know, 200 or something, okay, 198, I think? I don't know, I can't be bothered to do maths, I was too tired. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty decent profit for just, for some herbs that are worth 2.7k. Of course, they used to be worth 80 GP each, believe it or not. I was lucky enough to buy um, 700 of them when they were 80 GPH and um, yeah, managed to farm all of them, which was took about two months. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, um, and leave feedback on stuff because this is my like first proper guide on anything really. I mean, I've had guides before, but they've been rather shit. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I might do a construction guide next. Let's have a look at the construction. Yeah, but 15.7 like mil, it's not much, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to be amazing like the rest of my subscribers. Alright, cheers, and see you later.